day back with what is the most requested video on Madden 20, a video that we have done in the years past, and everybody wants to see it here for Madden 20, the top 10 easiest superstars to trade for in Madden 20 franchise. In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 best players that you don't really have to send much away for, but that you can add for little value to your franchise teams to make them as good as possible possible so hope you guys do enjoy today's video if you do make sure to smash a huge thumbs up if you do find it helpful make sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you have it and if you have any other videos like this that you do want to see in the future let me know in the comment section below and the one with the most thumbs up has a chance to be made into a future video today i'd like to give a massive shout out to cove for sponsoring today's video being completely honest the cove community portable wireless bluetooth speaker is the best wireless bluetooth speaker i have ever used in my life it's literally the best sounding speaker i've ever personally used and imagine actually having a portable bluetooth speaker with you that has a subwoofer a bluetooth speaker with a subwoofer one single charge of this cold commuter speaker will give you eight hours of superior sound quality as you can connect your computer or phone up to this bluetooth speaker and walk up to 30 feet away without messing up your music and also for whatever reason if you don't want to use Bluetooth. The speaker also comes with an aux audio cable for playing music from devices without Bluetooth. The Cove Commuter Portable Wireless Bluetooth Speaker also doubles as a speakerphone with a built-in microphone. And guys, I wouldn't say this, I mean it. Literally, this is the greatest ever Bluetooth speaker I have had. You guys all should definitely try it out. I will leave a link to the speaker in the description box below as Cove is doing a special. If you do, use my discount code BROWN60. You can get this speaker 65% off for a final price of only $75, which is mental, dude. This speaker is well worth the price. So once again, guys, if you want to go check out and get yourself a co Bluetooth commuter speaker, there will be a link at the top of the description box below. Use the code BROWN60 and get you the best portable wireless Bluetooth speaker I've ever used for only $75. It's a legit bargain that you cannot pass up. With that said, going to be right down to the point in today's video and show you the 10 best players that you can add to your franchise team in Madden 20. Now, in this video, I am going to try my best. I'm going to try it initially to bring every one of these players into the Kansas City Chiefs team. I just picked the Kansas City Chiefs randomly, but I'm going to try to bring all 10 of these players into the team without having to make a new franchise. But still, at the same time, I'm going to show you the 10 easiest superstars to bring into your team. And I'm going to try to get them for as little value as possible to show you how easy they are to get. So first of all, we're going to go over all of the offensive linemen because I wanted, they're going to, they're going to be the quickest. So first of all, on the Dallas Cowboys, none other than Mr. Zach Martin. And 96 overall, one of the highest rated guards, if not the highest rated guard in all of Madden 20, coming to the Kansas City Chiefs and to your Madden 20 franchise. for it, it, like Pretty much any team out there that you do choose for your Madden 20 franchise has the assets to bring in Zach Martin. So, what do the Cowboys need in return? They need a defensive tackle and a strong safety and a left guard. So who do we have at left guard position? We have Cameron Irving. They're not interested in him. Let's go to the right tackle position. I know they do have Mitchell Swartz, but I don't want to trade him away. I want to get the point across. A 72 overall and an 83 overall. How about the strong safety position? They have an 87 and a 70. Interested in any of these players or interested in the 72 overall? For Zach Martin, 96 overall, and look how close that is to being accepted. So if we add in... Probably like a backup quarterback or maybe a backup running back, Darwin Thompson. And maybe if we also throw in a 67 overall cornerback to bring in Zach Martin, it's still a climb. But let's add in maybe a fourth round draft pick to bring in a 96 overall right guard. And it's still a climb, but it's getting extremely close. How about a third round draft pick from next year to bring in Zach Martin? And just like that. And 96 overall, I think it is the highest rated guard in all of Madden 20 coming to our team here for a 72 overall right in, a 67 overall cornerback, and a third round draft pick from next year. So disclaimer, once again, this isn't realistic. It's just about helping you guys find the best players to trade for to make your team as good as possible in your Madden 20 franchise. Now next, the next player. Once again, it's another offensive lineman. I want to get the offensive lineman out of the way quick. 
But if we go to the Baltimore Ravens, this player that we have used in a lot of these trade videos in years past, and he's back again this year as a 91 overall, Mr. Marshall Yonda. And he is so easy to add to your team. I mean, we might even be able to add in, like, maybe just a fourth-round draft pick. It's probably going to take a player as well, but a fourth-round draft pick, okay, that looks a little bit more difficult than what I expected. But it's still relatively easy when it com like, comes to getting a 91 overall player added to your team. So middle linebacker, either of these guys, they are interested in both of them. How about Darren or Dylan Lee? 73 overall, and look how close that is to going through. I think a fifth-round draft pick added into this deal will be enough to bring in a 91 overall offensive guard. Actually, I was just kidding. A uh, fourth-round draft pick. Maybe this is enough. It's still a decline, but I think the fifth-round draft pick now should be enough. So Lee, a fourth, and a fifth. And welcome a 91 overall offensive guard to the Kansas City Chiefs. So another offensive line. I know a lot of teams do need to upgrade at their offensive line position. And you don't want to use too much of the assets that you have initially, like draft picks and good prospects and good players that you are willing to trade away on an offensive lineman. So Marshall Yonda, Zach Martin, two really good options to trade for at the beginning of your Madden 20 franchise. And the last offensive lineman in today's video is going to be a youngster. And he's a second year player. I have no idea why he is so easy to get. But Quentin Nelson, a top five pick from last year's draft. He's already an 87 overall, going to develop way into the 90 overalls in your franchise within the first two or three years. And this guy is going to be one of the youngest and best players that you can add to your Madden 20 franchise squad. So once again, let's see if they're willing to get one of our linebackers, Reggie Ragland. They are interested in him, so this might be easy right off the bat. And see how easy that is, dudes, for an 87 overall second year guard. We also throw in a fourth and a fifth round draft pick from next year into this deal. It still was declined, so let's try to add in. See, this is the only problem as I'm trying to get all these players onto the same squad without having to make a new franchise, because obviously every time I trade away somebody, we lose assets to trade away. But I'm trying my best to complete the challenge. So let's throw in maybe a cornerback, because Madden, for some reason, values like low overall corners and safeties. Juan Thornhill to this deal, it was accepted just like that, dude. So to bring in a guard that is worth nothing towards your cap hit, that's going to develop into the 90 overalls wise. It only takes Reggie Raglan, a fourth from next year, and a 69 overall free safety to bring in Quentin Nelson. With that, we are done for the offensive lineman in today's video. So the fourth player is another one that's extremely easy. Another player, or another position that you don't really want to use assets on, and that's the tight end position. And this guy is an extremely high overall. Once again, he's a veteran, but somebody that you could add and make that position much better immediately. And that is 92 overall Delaney Walker, one of the highest rated tight ends in all of Madden, the Tennessee Titans' highest rated player. And you're going to be shocked at how easy it is to bring this guy into your team. They need a left outside linebacker. Maybe they want Damian Wilson. They don't. Like, once again, it's all about trying to find the minimum value possible to bring in the players, For just to show you guys, for example. So a defensive tackle, we have Derek Nottie and Xavier Williams and Kalen Saunders. They want all three of these guys, so just the 70 overall defensive tackle. Is there anybody less at the position? Maybe Joey Ivey or Colin Sanders. How about left end? We have another 70 overall, Jeremiah Atauchu. The 70 overall defensive tackle. Just like that, dude, this game is mental. If you want a good tight end to add to your team immediately, obviously he will like regress because he's 35, but a guy to have immediately for literally nothing at all to send off to bring him in. Sanders, a 70 overall defensive tackle to bring in 92 overall Delaney Walker. I'm going to kind of save the best for last, but the fifth player in today's video is going to be a Jacksonville Jaguar. He is a high overall he is a 92 overall, and that is Calias Campbell. The only problem with him is that he is a pretty large cap pit, but if you have the cap and you want a solid defensive end to add immediately, this is your guy for Madden 20 franchise. Now, we might have to start shipping on like better players, but you, you get the point at this point in the video. Damian Wilson, and they want him right off the bat, a 70 overall left outside linebacker. It wasn't accepted, but it's extremely close to going through already dudes so if we add in a fifth i'm not sure if this is enough a fifth and a sixth from next year that was declined so i think we are gonna have to add in once again maybe a high overall backup free safety a 69 jordan lucas added into the deal 
It was the decline, but I think instead of the draft picks, we add in a lower, maybe Keith Reeser into this deal. It was declined again. So what could we add in to have this be accepted? A wide receiver by chance, maybe a 70 overall, McCole Hardman added into the deal, still declined. So you, you get the point. If we had the assets, you'd see how easy it was, the minimum value to bring in Clyde's came. But if we do throw in, I mean, I know for sure a third round draft pick should be enough in to this deal Clias Campbell is now a Kansas City Chief. A 92 overall, one of the highest overall defensive ends in this game for literally a 70 overall left outside linebacker and a third round draft pick from this year. Now, player number six, and this one is going to blow your minds. I've got him in a couple of the rebuilds I have done this year. He's a New York Giant. He's a 91 overall. Saquon Barkley, arguably one of the best running backs, arguably at this point already the best running back in the NFL, a second-year player that's going to probably reach 99 overall in your franchise. And that could be with your team if you do trade for him, which there's literally no reason not to. So they need a quarterback. We're not going to trade away Patrick Mahomes, obviously. Right tackle. I don't want to trade away my right tackle for this video. They do need a defensive tackle. So about one of these guys. They want both of them. 71 overall defensive tackle for Saquon Barkley. And that is is about a fourth of the way to go in through. I mean, it is going to take some good players to bring them in, but keep in mind, dude, this is Saquon Barkley, the best running back, arguably, in the entirety of the NFL, and you're able to get him for pretty much nothing really important on your team in return. Now, let's see. How about at the cornerback position? Bashad Breeland, they do want as well. So I think, I mean, he is a player that is probably going to take either a second or first round draft pick to bring in, but it's 100% worth it when it's a guy that could easily develop into a 99 overall running back. So make this through. It's, oh, that's so annoying, dude. It was almost accepted. How about a first round draft pick from next year? Is that going to be enough to be accepted? Oh, it's still a decline, dude. We are going to have to use. Let's try this. Second round draft pick. Let's take out Bashad Breland and see if we can add in somebody else. How about, uh, I don't think, how about our center position? Do we have anybody at center that we do? We have no centers that we can trade away. So I think just for video's sake, you see how close it is to being accepted. But if we go and we add in Brashad Breland into the deal, we take out the second round draft pick, and we just get a first from this year into the deal. We probably also could get like a seventh and a sixth from this year if we add that into the deal. It's declined. We take out the sixth round draft pick. Just like that, dudes. Not only do we get Saquon Barkley, we add in the seventh round draft pick. A 71 defensive tackle a 74 cornerback and a first round draft pick to bring in arguably the best running back in the NFL. Absolutely mental. Now moving on to the next player in today's video to add to your roster. We're getting so close to being able to add all these players onto the same team with the original assets that the Kansas City Chiefs team had. Now going to the Denver Broncos. The only problem is we might get to where we don't have much cap room left. But the Denver Broncos, they're our highest overall player Mr. Von Miller, a 97 overall outside linebacker. The second rated, I think, second highest rated outside linebacker behind Khalil Mack in Madden 20. Now, what's it going to take in to bring in Mr. Von Miller to your team? Another team that does need defensive tackles. The only problem is we've traded away a lot of them. Derek Naughty added him to the trade. Submit this through, and it's already halfway to going through. Now, they do need a wide receiver. We have a 74 and a 70, McCole Hardman. They unfortunately don't want either of those guys. How about the left guard position? I mean, we just we already got Quentin Nelson, but I, want, I don't want to have to trade him away if I don't have to. So what else do we have at wide receiver that we could potentially trade away? 82, Sammy Watkins. This right here might be enough for this trade to be accepted. Sammy Watkins in the defensive tackle, and just like that, dudes, it was accepted. Welcome, Von Miller to the Kansas City Chiefs for literally a 76 and 82 rated wide receiver, Sammy Watkins, to bring in the second highest rated outside linebacker in the entirety of Madden 20. Now next, we're gonna get another second year player and add him to the squadron. And we're still gonna see if we can get all these players onto the Kansas City Chiefs team. And that is gonna be a strong safety, 23 year old, only worth 2 million towards your cap, 90 rated, Jamal Adams. Now, probably it's going to take a little bit more than like maybe some of the offensive linemen that I showed in today's video, but it's still worth it. A 90 rated strong safety that's probably going to develop into maybe even a 99 overall in your franchise. So if we go to the right outside linebacker position, Anthony Hitchens, they're interested in him. Submit that through. 
And it's kind of like the Saquon Barkley deal, but it's still going to end up being accepted. So the tight end position, we do have, do we trade away for video's sake? I want to I wanna keep them. I'm still trying to go through this video without having to trade away any of our real superstars. But we might end up, unfortunately, having to. Now, I think for the video's sake, how about our strong safety, Tyron Matthew? They don't want him, unfortunately, although he's really good. Free safety. Any actual good player that I would be willing to trade away for video's sake. Defensive end, Manuel Ogbar or Alex Okafor. They don't want either of them, although they're actually really good. At the right end position, Frank Clark. They do want him. Submit that through. I think a second round draft pick should be enough to have this trade be accepted. Second rounder. Trade was barely declined, dude. How about a first rounder from next year? Come on now, don't do me dirty. No. So it finally was accepted. We went out and traded for another first round draft pick to add it into the deal. But for a 90 rated second year strong safety who's going to develop into the high 90 overalls, this is 100% worth it. Frank Clark, a 77 overall Hitchens right outside linebacker and a first round draft pick to bring in 90 rated Jamal Adam, so it's two more trades to go, and this time we're going to go out and get a superstar running back of the San Diego Chargers, Mr. 92-rated Melvin Gordon. Now, if we throw in a right tackle, we'll go ahead and just try to make this easy so you guys can get the point. Mitchell Schwartz, see how close this is to going through. It's a little bit less than halfway, but that's definitely something that we can work with. So, free safety. Don't know if you have a free safety they might would want. Jordan Lucas, maybe by chance they don't want him. How about, I mean, we still have a couple of defensive tackles that we can trade away, don't we? Actually, we don't. This is where this gets a little bit complicated. So, how about we just maybe go ahead, just for video's sake, and trade away Chris Jones. So, Chris Jones and Mitchell Schwartz to bring in Melvin Gordon. That's so close to going through. So, if we do go and easily add in a second-round draft pick, from this year so I mean this is it would be the same I want you to know this trade would be exactly the same even if these two players Schwartz and Chris Jones were 75 rated players that they had green interest in all that matters is they have green interest the only problem here is I don't have any other players because we've traded everybody away at this point but that's why I said it's going to be hard to get everybody onto the Chiefs in one take but submit this through it was still this bite me so this was simply done just for video's sake to put a point across we did go out and sign Nick Perry, but we did have to get another first-round draft pick. And Chris Jones, submit this through. It was accepted. We bring in Melvin Gordon, a superstar running back, to the Kansas City Chiefs. And last but not least, the final trade, the 10th, and one of the best players in today's video is going to be a Dallas Cowboy, Mr. Ezekiel Elliott, a player I know two or three years down the road will be a 99 overall in your franchise, maybe even after year number one. How easy is it to bring this guy in to your franchise? Pretty much at this point, we don't have much value left to trade away. So how about a player at the left guard position? Well, I mean, just for video's sake, Quentin Nelson, submit this through. It's about, uh, about a fourth of the way to go through at this point. We add in a strong safety. Jamal Adams, we'll throw in maybe Daniel Sorensen. They're interested in no Tyron Matthew and Quentin Nelson. Submit this through. It's getting extremely close. And last but not least... A second round draft pick. Is this enough to be accepted? It's declined. I think we have to go out once again and get another first round draft pick to have this deal be accepted. Declined again. But a first round draft pick should be enough to bring in the main man. Let's just get a first round draft pick from anybody to add into the deal. Let's go with the San Francisco 49ers. Submit this through. This is making me look like, like more of a moron than what I already am. But throw in Hardman, a wide receiver. This was accepted. So if we go back, we go into this trade. If you guys didn't know, if you trade for a draft pick, for some reason, Madden's stupid. You have to back all the way back out to the main menu to have the draft picks actually show up as something that you can trade away in a deal. So first round draft pick, we go back, we throw in our strong safety in Tyron Matthew. Go back to the Dallas Cowboys, add in Ezekiel Elliott to the deal. And last but not least, throw in Quentin Nelson. And with that, Ezekiel Elliot is now a Kansas City Chief. And once again, although the players you just saw were a higher overall, if you get a 75 overall player they're interested in, that trade would have worked just the same. Once again, it's just because we lost all those assets as we got later on in the video. But for the most part, we just completed all 10 of these trades with the Kansas City Chiefs, not having to do any funny business. So with that, 
that is gonna do it for today's video the 10 easiest superstars to trade for in a madden 20 franchise hopefully you did find it helpful if you did make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you are new turn on the notification bell if you haven't i'll catch you guys next time have a great rest of your day god bless and peace